Hello everyone, I am Miss Pink, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, last one was a bit longer than planned, but we are going to talk to our companions now about the, the uh, recent events of a plant that really shouldn't have been considered a plant. Uh... Yo! Oh, no, are you a new- you're a new dude. Let's go talk to Joker. Loading. That's kind of creepy. Okay, Joker. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to uh, go. Okay. Alright, see ya. Uh, okay. Apparently we can't talk to you about anything else. Uh, that's fine with me. But let's go and see our companions. Uh, we have to check on Liara, of course. She's the baby. Doop, doop, doop. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I think Caden is there, but let's go talk to Liara first. Liara! Yes. Perfect. Yes, Commander? Is there uh, something you need? I nope. should go. Go Goodbye, away. Commander. Okay. Oh, uh, she should be here. Hello, Leara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best? You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. We've already had this conversation. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Uh, no I don't. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. That was a kind of waste. Well, at least we know she was okay. I don't want to start a romance with her or anything. Kaden! Hi! Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Sure. Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from back up. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Are you concerned for me? It's a personal observation, Caden. I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's <laughs> toes, especially if you're a, uh, if I have misread your interests. My interests? All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart, and hope to die. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. Why? There's a lower deck rumor that she's, um, interested in you more than a source of Prothean data. What? She's a very interesting lady. Uh, to my, uh, tastes, but, uh, I never claimed to be big on alien culture. It's not like that. My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. I'm here, aren't I? Look, you didn't want to talk about Liara, did you? What's your real issue? You're right. Sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's <laughs> not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Bad experience? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. <laughs> I'll try to keep the deck dry. <laughs> You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. Okay. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Why couldn't we... Do it alone. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. 
Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Experts. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. Why not the Asari? The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go to the, the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. You do what you have to. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. Ew. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the Dreadnought that killed your father. Ah. I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all of this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. Why tell me? So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special? Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Uh, just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Okay... We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Let's talk again. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. Okay. We'll have time for personal Tactical appraisal? Later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharaohs. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay. Did they really? They are, uh... You're a cutie and all, but come on. Maybe in the next game. <laughs> Maybe in the next game, when everything looks prettier! Though I'm personally just not... Oh, I'm not really sexually attracted to anything. So... But I mean... Yeah, whatever. Garrus! Commander, good to see you. You've been with C-Sec a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, Skippy, skippy, skippy. Yeah, I've it. seen some uh, interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit... disturbing. Disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless. Nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Really? So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. What, what did you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. What? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility. 
counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. What? Somebody's making a killing out there. They have four testicles? What? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Krogan's. I have four testicles. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Saleon's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. What? He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. Did you interview him? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. They just... what? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. I see. Well, you can't get them all. No, but... Letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. It's a tough choice. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, is I uh. the joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that, but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Alright. What's... There's a thingy. Hi, Rex. Let's talk. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Yes. Such as? Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Really? What happened? I was betrayed. Oh. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. And what did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I 
told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. And what about him? I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. That's risky. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well... There are some laws that even we hold sacred. Your father? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. Wow. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. He deserved that it. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh. That's just... Whoa. Tally. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. You seem happy. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Don't worry, you will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. I? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. Oh, jeez. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. The fuck? So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. Preferential treatment? You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me to get to him. Well, that's a lot of pressure. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. So what's the answer? What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. 
We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. Bye bye. I should go. See you later. Alrighty. Uh, I guess examine. Okie dokie. Uh, what is there to do now? Um. Hmm. I don't know what there is to do. Uh, we could go to that one planet, or I guess go back to the uh, the Citadel because I think there's some stuff for us to do there. Hmm. Decisions. 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 Boop, 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 boop. A journal. This is for Garrus. Citadel, strange transmission, investigate facility. Uh, let's take care of Garrus's mission. Uh, head to coordinates. Last known whereabouts. Head to the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. Well then, let's go and have that taken care of. Boop. There we go. Uh, do -ba -do -ba. What's back here? I don't think I've ever checked. Oh. That. I guess I've already checked it out without thinking about it. Okay, where Battalion do I have to Commander, go? Commander, we got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. From who? Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Ugh! I've already spoken with them. Come on. What's up, bitches? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. What? You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Thanks. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay. Great. Is that a. Oh! Race again. Saren is searching for the conduit and ancient relic. The airship's bringing us up to the end. Saren must be stopped. Find the conduit. You need to explore Theros Artemis Tau Cluster and Vermeer to find clues that will lead you to the conduit before Saren. Come on! Uh, let's take care of Garrus first, because I'm sure I have enough time for at least Garrus. I mean, come on. I'll find a Geth eventually, from the seams of it. I just have to look to see the options that are in front of me. Uh, zooming out. Uh, for my other pinnacle station. Citadel. Exodus Cluster. Gemini. Sarah's Tau. Kepler Verge. Newton. Herschel. Okay, so there's only these two. Yes. Hopefully I'm going to the right place. Commander, 
urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What's wrong? What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. What? Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Is that the only option? Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectres answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. I guess I have to go here? Private owner, doctor. Here we go. Bored. Of course, with Garrus. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I feel like Caden or let's go with Caden. No, no. Yeah, why the fuck not? Except. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Okay. Boop. Hello? Okay. Are you sure? Anything to loot? Uh. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything major. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Time to die, Doc. This is my kill, Garrus. Wait, you what? You're crazy! No one gets fucked! Wait, what? No! How about we load? This is not gonna be my kill. I'm putting this on Garrus, not me. What if it backfires? I'm not crazy. I'm not 
living with that guilt. Psh, you crazy? You cry, cry. All right. Engaging target. Should oh right there. Uh, really gross. Ah! Whew. Ooh, I All got a grenade. Clear. Okay, dogger. Uh, I guess go here. Well. I know he's right there. What's right here? Oh. Okay then. I guess I was by luck. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Finish him. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! That was satisfying. Uh, then we're done here. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Saline's medical equipment is stained with blood of many species pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. Watch us actually have fucked everything up. Uh... Ha! There we go. Uh, take all, I guess? Uh... Oh, come on. Lou? There we go. Uh, take all. I'll take all of those. Take all of those. Anything else to snatch away from in here? Nope. Okay. Actually, take all. Let's look through the equipment a little bit. Uh, just gotta resituate myself. Uh, actually, let's see what. No, I don't want that. Is this a button? Uh, can't remember what getting to the squad button is. Uh, you are. You are kind of just. Whatever. Okay. So, you are kind of an in between guy. Increases the accuracy of that. Yeah, why not? Don't really use those. Don't need that anymore. Let's use that. The Omni tool, it is better. It is worse for the bonuses. But better for the cooldown. Why not? Why can't I wear it? Why can't he? Oh. Why can't we wear those? That is not right. Kaden. Oh, you already have a thing. Uh, this seems better. You can't use any of that shit. 
There you go. There you go. Uh, get okay. You. Actually, do you. You probably need that more. Same thing. That one is better. Yes. Transfer the upgrades. Might as well give you that. Oh, well. I'll give you that. I guess I can get rid of that one. Uh, why can't I use that armor? That's the only thing that bothers me. Oh, time to head back to Normandy. That was way easier than I thought it would be. I think there's something wrong here. There's no way it should be that easy. Well, either way. As doop 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 doo. Time to head back to the Normandy. We're probably gonna get a message saying that we fucked everything up because that was not the real or the real alright guy. Yada yada. Whoa. Was I the only one to see that screen? Uh, journal. Uh, he's not there. UNC. Should probably. Let's go back to the Citadel. I've got all the time in the world. Hmm. Zoom out. Uh, okay. Uh. Wait. Actually, let's not go there. Uh, go to the Hades Gamma Cluster. Uh, I need to go to the Hades Gamma Cluster. Okay. Let's just take care of some small things. Might as well. Some out. 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 Uh, Armstrong. Foyer. H Hades Gamma Cluster. And this. This Farinita. Whatever. I guess yes. Message coming in. Of course. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. Again? A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. God damn. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. I'll check it out. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Stop being so useless. Please. Board. <sighs> uh, let's take the human and Garrus. Uh, should we take Ashley or Rex? Oh, let's take Garrus. I like Garrus. Confirm. Okay, obviously I need to have my gun out. Uh, what's ya? Take all, I guess. Oh my god, that's a lot! 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Look out! Intruder, ah! Kill the hostage! I'll destroy you, fuckface! Shit! I will destroy you! I will destroy you! I will destroy you! Take him down! Come on, you're wasting my time! Come on! Area secured. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please! I was trying to help you people! Calm down. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret! Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the Chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for! But I've changed my mind! Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. You need Burns. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? I'm an L2 like Ooh. you. Trust me. The commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. This is as much as you get. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Just doing my job. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Oh, right. Uh, can I loot anything? Huh? Here's a thing. Uh. Uh, fuck. Oh, come on. Take all. Fucking dipshit. Uh, what is in here? Anything I can take? Yes. Anything else? No. Anything in here? No. Dang it. I think it was already in here. Yes. And then you guys are in there. Alright. Well, I guess that's it. Okay, let's get back to the Normandy. Time to go back to the Normandy. Time to go back to the Normandy. All right. Well, we didn't do a lot of major stuff in this episode. Uh, and I think for a short while we'll continue to do more mundane things. Well, not mundane, but uh, more small side quest stuff, just because it's really nice to get those things done with. And, you know, it might have an effect, uh, an impact on the story later told. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a fan-tabulous day.